Last runner goes forward, Capital Flight. Capital Flight moves up, red light is on. Racing now, and Sinful Living dug out, got a fast start with Ain't No Other Man up on the outside. And they're in front of Capital Flight and Wednesday and under influence can't go the early speed as usual. So after a couple of hundred, Simple Living's got the lead by about a long neck. Ain't no other man on the outside doing the bullocking work and two to Capital Flight who got across nicely. Outside the bolt of Wednesday and four lengths away is under influence. They've gone very hard. Coming up towards the home turn, 500 to go. Simple Living leading the way. On the outside, Ain't No Other Man is going to try and grind him into the grass here. Two lengths to Capital Flight Wednesday and under influence about to tackle on at the 350. Sinful Living being nursed has got the lead. On the outside, Ain't No Other Man is quickly coming after Sinful Living, but Sinful Living just in front. Ain't No Other Man is trying his heart out on the outside. They've got clear from Capital Flight. Sinful Living in front though. He's run them ragged. Sinful Living clear from Ain't No Other Man. Under influence, absolutely rocketing late, but Sinful Living races home to win brilliantly by two and a half. Under influence flew on the outside and might have grabbed second right on the line from Ain't No Other Man and back behind them, Capital Flight flight on Wednesday. Sinful Living is the winner. Brilliant win. And the filly races home to win well. Under influence. Rocketing home for second. Ain't no other man third. And Capital Flight back in fourth place. But a comfortable win to Sinful Living. And Willie Pike. And the girls celebrate downstairs. Trained by Dan and Ben Pierce. Wins it well. Number four. Big run under influence, as per usual, just couldn't go the early speed, but has rattled to the line and grabs second on the post from Ain't No Other Man, who chased hard but just couldn't get there. Simple living, dashing clear at the 150 after Ain't No Other Man probably got within about a half a length, but then put the issue beyond doubt. And Simple Living continues her great form since resuming. Blew the cobwebs out really first up behind Cocktail Party and then a brilliant win over home James in a class three steps up today in a 66 plus and does it well two lengths along head four two three and one 58 20 the time 33 53 for the final 600 meters well it's a big group of owners and uh, they'll be pretty excited let's head downstairs and uh, join the crew with Lockie thanks Rich what a win from sinful living and the girls are absolutely ecstatic Instead of talking to the boys, the sable's flying, so I speak to them often enough. So I'll catch up with Chloe or Danelle Pierce after the win of Sinful Living, an all-ladies owned horse, and the girls are absolutely wrapped. I spoke to Danelle last start, so I'll speak to Chloe now, the wife of Ben Pierce. Chloe, what a win, what a thrill. Oh look, she's she's just the best. Like she just she's just come um, great guns since her last run as well and pretty confident into today she's just um i reckon she's probably feeling better than she has ever has even including all her wins from last prep so i'm excited for the future with her what does the future hold i know that yourself and danelle you guys hold all the cards where would you like to see her, her go next <laughs> um look i think she's still working through her grades and i'm not sure what uh what plan the boys have mapped out they, they actually don't let us have much say <laughs> But, um, you know, wherever she goes, I think she's going to be pretty competitive, even if we do look at some bigger races for her. I think she's good enough, so. Now, how about the celebrations? I could hear the girls just <laughs> screaming at the top of their lungs. What a great excitement this is, and what a great advertisement for racing this is to see a bunch of women so happy for this horse. Yeah, honestly, like, um, it wasn't just um, us lady owners, but the kids as well. They're pretty, uh, they're pretty over the moon, and they're all jumping around, and... No, um, yeah, I think we're just lucky to have some awesome owners and, yeah, we're really wrapped. And I have to ask, do you have a message for Chris Parnham? Oh, Chris, Chris, Chris. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> well done on the win. <laughs> Thank you. There's Chloe Pierce after the win of Sinful Living. Oh, what a filly she has been. A very, very cheap yearling, and she has paid back the stable in spades. She jumps, she runs, she's such a professional three-year-old filly. 
and the excitement that she's taking these owners on, Scott, you can't not be happy for them. Exactly right, and a wonderful advertisement for the local breeding industry too. Lockie, Magic Millions purchase here in Perth, $10,000 with West Speed bonuses. She's made a fortune, just as simple as that. You don't need to actually produce the numbers here right now, but you, we all just know coming into this campaign that she'd already won a lot as a two-time winner on a Saturday as a two-year-old filly, as a two -year and now as a three-year-old. She's going on with it. She's won it the midweeks, carrying the weight. The weight comes off her back today, and she wins again. And the way with her racing pattern, there's so much more to come. She'll be just as good an Ascot filly as she is here at Belmont Park. I just, it's exciting times for all those ladies. I know after last start, Danelle Pierce was suggesting maybe it's time for a girls' trip. Well, they're going to have plenty of spending money. Absolutely, they are. And Willie Pike is just about to way back in, so we'll catch up with him for a word on sinful living. But. The invitation was there for Chris Parnham to go on the ladies' trip after the last win. Maybe Willie Pike gets the invite now and only one jockey's allowed to go. One at a time, and they might be able to have multiple trips, these girls. They're going to have so much fun with this filly. We'll get a word from Willie Pike after the victory of Sinful Living. Pikey joins us now. Pikey, it must be fun for all these connections, but also for yourself to jump aboard a filly like this that seems like she's basically foolproof. Yeah, it's very nice. Um... Uh, yeah, just jump to the front, hang on. She gives you what she's got. What more can you ask? Top of the home straight. Maddie Derrick put the pressure on, but she absorbed it nicely. Yeah, I actually thought Maddie might be a chance to sort of beat me at that stage. She, I'd, um, I tried to slip a little bit and she'd come with me. When she was in striking distance like that, I thought it was going to be a big battle, but uh, credit to my horse, she kicked when I needed her. These girls will want you in the photo. Well done. Yeah, thanks. There's Willie Pike combining with Dan and Ben Pierce and a sinful living to make it back-to-back -back wins here at Belmont Park. On the other side, we'll be previewing the first at Mount Magna.